Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Welcome to another after the theater review. Just saw Saw 10, Saw X. We haven't done an after theater review in quite some time, you guys. You know, we haven't actually been to the theater all this month. Oh no, no, we did. We saw Equalizer, didn't we? Yeah. This month, yeah. I do have a ranking of all the Saw movies up to Spiral. I'll go ahead and link that here. I also did a review for Spiral. Um, so I'll put that down below if you're interested. Or they'll just, the cards will come up. But, oh, God, oh it's my hair. <laughs> Y'all, there's a lot of cars passing over here. Maybe I shouldn't have parked right here. Should I move over there? Is that the entrance? Yep. Okay. Anyway. I'm like, why are they coming so close? I know. Okay. Okay. Wait mm. a moment. What were your thoughts on 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 the movie? I like gore and horror movies, so I'm um, I really like these type of movies, and I'm always looking forward to a like a jigsaw movie everything is just like bam didn't like it <laughs> she just got her bat <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of activity Suspected. happening she has her windows down i rolled mine up a little bit more cause it's hot yeah put it down. <laughs> of course it's more of um john of his story so it's like a lot more talking of course talking about his cancer and everything i was all like <laughs> I want to go to all the like people in their the torture, game? yeah, and their in, the, in in their games and all that. I feel like this time the the machines could have been more than what they are. I guess it's okay for him to from just improvising, like it just happened. He's all like, okay, they did this, true, and yeah. I'm gonna get them like now, mm -hmm. like a quick phone call to you know who, and so like help me find these people. Mm -hmm. I love the cord, like this girl, like, and then, and then, and then, I enjoyed it as well too. I love gore movies. I know I don't do horror, but I can do like this horror, like gory horror, but not like ah horror, you know? For it to be like number 10 and usually at this point you go a little bit more overboard. But at the same time, it's like I like it because we don't go super overboard, which then we will still complain about because it's like, no, they went too overboard. Yeah. Why don't we stay with the basics and kind of like the tone that it is? Yeah, I have a cheek left. Let me take it and then this movie, I believe, takes place between part two and part three. Because in part three, five, that's where he dies, right? Mm -hmm. And like, yeah. So it take, takes place between part two, part three. So that's like early, well, early 2000s? Mid, to, no, 2010s? I don't know, somewhere around there. 2010s maybe at the most. We still have flip phones at that time. I did enjoy it, but yet at the same time, you kind of want more. But kind of like with Spiral, it's like hear tone when you wanted it to be more but at the same time it's like do i really want it to be more if that makes sense like it's right here i just wanted to go like uh, yeah here. like not that much the kills weren't as entertaining this time around but we definitely did get more compared to spiral when and also in spiral it was from the point of view of the police officer so that's why yeah. we didn't get a lot of the kills um you know it was just like the aftermath of it all we do get somebody back from the first few deals mm -hmm. if you've seen the sh movies you know who it is i don't know if that's a spoiler or not i don't think it is because i feel like at this point you probably expect that particular character to be here um there is a mid credit scene stick around the lesson i right away knew i said this is sus this is suspect i said i don't trust you and i don't trust you and like a lot of things aren't adding up who's the surgeon oh and i'm like what do you mean who's the surgeon why is the surgeon not coming over here to introduce themselves to you sir when you about to have open uh surgery sir use your head you're supposed to be smart mr kramer i haven't seen these saw movies since i did the ranking like two years ago but kind of like off the top of my head this may be the third fourth maybe maybe fourth i think part three actually is still my favorite no part one is my favorite 
I said when I and then part three and then I think part two would still because it was a great and then this one yeah I think this is number four I think this would be fourth at the end of the day you know the Saw movies are pretty much all still the same it's just like what kind of traps we're gonna give all the movies intertwine one way or another with the characters with the storyline like I said this one falls within part like two and three because you're probably like um hello he died like in part three but then again you know we're still having other movies and then like the last one, well, before Spiral, it was like the prequel. So then we kind of went all the way back to the beginning. And then it was just like a lot of mess, y'all. With all that said, no, before I say that, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Oh, also, 13 Nights of Fright, y'all. I know I said I was going to do it. I said, look out for my movies on Instagram. I'm not doing 13 Nights of Fright this year, y'all. I just, you know how I've been unmotivated. Is, I just can't do it. It's too stressful, and I'm just not really feeling it. But I am still going to do a couple Halloween-related videos, but not, like, 13 consecutive deals. So just kind of look out for those other ones. I'm going to be doing, like, a Halloween, like, tier ranking uh, list of my favorite overall like Halloween rewatches but like in tier form and then also just some of my like movies that I myself have found to be very very scary because even though I don't like scary movies doesn't mean that I've never ever seen any I have and they, these are the, gonna be I don't know how many I'm gonna have I don't know 13 31 I don't know five two I don't know you don't know how, how many movies I, scary movies I've seen but yeah I'm gonna do that I think it'll be fun she's gonna watch a scary movie I'm gonna, oh yes yes I'm gonna do um I don't know I think I'm, I'm thinking about maybe doing it live because that way I don't have to edit because yeah. I know I'll be lazy and I'm going to watch all those scary pictures. Oh, yeah, and I don't want to edit all the scary pictures or find the videos because I don't know I don't know how to do like watch along and stuff. So I think I may just do like a live watch along of Evil Dead Rises. Watch by yourself? No, no, no. You're watching it with me like in the daytime, like at 12 <laughs> o'clock in the afternoon when the sun, sun is, is at the eye. brightest because I don't fuck with scary movies like that. But that's kind of like what some of my Halloween like spooky season videos are coming versus having my 13 consecutive nights i will link my uh 13 nights of fright playlist down below if you are interested in just seeing what i've uh watched in the last uh like three years that i've been doing because i think this was gonna be my fourth annual or fifth annual uh fourth annual i think fright night uh but so it's gonna be a little bit different just because again you know it's just a lot but with all that said what i see what are your ranking i'm gonna put my clip back in a medium a medium um yeah i'm gonna give it a medium as well where would you rank this one amongst all the other 10 um including spiral wait is this one part 11 including spiral i don't know where if you don't want to include spiral don't include spiral all right guys and that is it from us today until next time we'll see you guys at concessions bye